All right, thank you very much. Uh, an amazing sounds there by the alternate sound. Good stuff, good music already. Definitely Friday mood. And today we, uh, you know, in this, I feel like the smallest here <coughs> right about now. <laughs> uh, but we're talking about uh, muscle main. Everybody out there wants to get some muscle. Take the light of the mister and uh, Miss Kenya event that's coming up on Saturday as well. And so I'll allow the, ju- no, there's a lady in the building. So I'll allow the lady to go first and then the gentleman. My name is Evelyn Owala. I'm currently the title holder for Miss Kenya Figure. Well, until maybe tomorrow <laughs> when we get to decide the next title holder. I'm hoping it will be me. Um, I'm also a personal trainer and uh, yes. All right. My name is William Bonak. I'm from uh, Holland, originally from Ghana. And I'm an IFBB pro bodybuilder, uh, USN ambassador. And uh, yes, in All Kenya, I represent the USN. <laughs> yes, top five of the world, uh, Mr. Olympia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My name is Chris Omedo. I'm the national chairman of Kenya Bodybuilding Federation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm seeing uh, a lot of people asking for William to show us his biceps. Mm-hmm. Of course, you can, st- you can start by mine first so that <laughs> we see the comparison. <laughs> Well, there they are. <laughs> so maybe you can flex a little bit, show us the camera. Uh, it's, it's right on you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <Woo wee. laughs> I can try mine. Eh? Why is my close up? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yes, yeah, coming soon. About to get launched as well. <laughs> Oh uh, maybe we can talk about um, you know bodybuilding in general, and uh, you know, a lot of people, especially in Kenya, are interested in getting uh, their bodies to the levels you people are in. So maybe you start with you, Evelyn. What are, what are people supposed to do in terms of getting? Is it just about getting the muscle? Is there a process? Of course, you don't just wake up and be like William or yourself. Mm-hmm. So what is True. the process like? Yeah. Um, first of all, I think it comes from inner self. What do you want? Mm-hmm. And if you realize you want muscle, how much muscle do you want? Mm -hmm. And even after knowing how much, what do you do to get there? I mean, there's a diet, there's a workout, there's a supplementation. How do you go about it? I think uh, basically those are some of the missing links for us. Mm -hmm. And most people want to get to the result without even taking time to enjoy the process. Mm enjoy the process because the process has its own lessons to learn its own mistakes to do and different bodies react differently that's something you are supposed to appreciate yeah all right and for for you when when did you decide you know this is something i want to do um for, i was always like at the age of five i came to holland and i was always like you know into sports you know um boxing um fighting and you know, Fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then later on, I started with soccer playing. And but I always had, you know, the you know the inner feeling, you know, to be the strongest man of the world. You mm-hmm. know, so I was always watching the programs in Holland, you know, from the strongest man of the world. And I was like, this is what I want to do. You know, so from there going, I was like lifting bricks, you know, from the area, and I brought it to my room, and I was just training with it until I got about an age of 12 years old. I went to the gym. I wasn't allowed to go there, but <laughs> because I look older than I was, so I went to the gym and I started working out. And uh, from there going, things started, yeah, mm-hmm. I started to grow and okay. opportunities came. For, for you to, you know, like how long does it take? Because of course, like I said, everybody sees the end of the movie. Yeah. I've, be, I've been wow. training now, like like with, with lifting weights, I've been doing this since like 22 years now, and wow. I'm 35. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 22 years, then. Yeah. Right. 22, 23 years. Yeah. Lord, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I started too early, so that's why I'm <laughs> short, you know. <laughs> 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 and for yourself, and also to, to form, you know, uh, the, 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 the bodybuilding, and, you know, what, there are many people, especially in Kenya, who want to do that. Is it at an advanced stage now? Is there more response now? Because generally, Kenyans are more health conscious. Actually, really, sir. When. Um <coughs> We came into, into the office in the year 2014. The sport was dead. Mm. So we've tried as a, a federation to ensure that uh, we have structures in place. That's one. Then um, we have people 
enjoy the fruits of uh, the structures that we, we have in the place. Uh, to make them build trust and confidence that was not there before. Uh, that is in terms of even uh, sponsorship. Mm. I think that never used to be there. We are happy that at least we've made uh, tremendous strides towards uh, developing the sport uh, with a few sponsors who are ready to work with us. And people out there are also uh, enjoying the benefits of uh, keeping fit, uh, both within the gyms and outside. Because fitness uh, does not really mean that you've got to work out in the gym. You can do your workout from wherever. So uh, I can say that um, so far the Federation has really made a lot of uh, improvement in terms of uh, competitions and fitness in general because you see once you're fit your health also becomes better mm. and your lifestyle also changes mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and even also touching upon also the the very important aspect of the diet in the whole uh, <laughs> uh, how it fits into the whole getting b uh, buff and better yeah yes how important is the diet it is very, very important. In fact, I can't overemphasize the importance of what you eat, what time you eat it, and how you prepare it. For me, any food that I've not cooked sometimes automatically falls under a cheat meal. It can be healthy, but since I don't know the components of what has been placed in it, automatically it's a cheat meal. It can be a chicken <laughs> breast, but it's still... <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how important. So for, for, for someone, I mean, they'll just be like, it's chicken. Uh, for somebody who is regular out there, sometimes it, it, it can be as strict as for me when I'm doing whatever I'm doing right now. But uh, it can be within a particular boundary. Most of us just want to eat anything and anyhow without thinking about it. Most people who want good bodies or who are bodybuilders, they'll eat for a reason. I'll eat because, first of all, it's time to eat. Secondly, my body needs it. Thirdly, I mean, these are the nutrients I'm looking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and for, for you as well, you know, most people, uh, for William, most people think that, you know, like, what is... Uh, a day in terms of what do you eat like do you ever stop like taking care of, like okay now I have the muscle ah, forget the diet I have it I can go uh, eat whatever I want and burn it in the gym I can eat what I want there's no problem <laughs> but <laughs> I have to keep eating right. you know and especially when you're on a diet you know in your prep time then you got to be careful with what you eat you can't have no uh, cheat meals or whatsoever so you got to be strict with your meals you know mm -hmm. but I have also a rule like um, you know with traveling and sometimes you know you just can't get a meal or proper meal somewhere then just make sure you get a meal inside you know whatever you get inside try to make it as clean as possible but get something inside mm -hmm. it's better than getting nothing inside at all you know yeah. so that's what i believe in but i don't believe like okay now i have to stop you know i'm I, i'm here now so i have to stop that is, it, it doesn't work that way mm -hmm. because like you have to keep it up even with your training your, your food your food is like 24 hours a day you know so you have to keep it up because even if you miss like a week off from the gym you know you start seeing the result of that yeah. you know yeah. you will feel it as well yeah. you know yeah. mentally and physically you will feel it as well so you have to keep going on it's the same thing with your food you know so mm -hmm. so yeah. right now i mean uh, i can see somebody's asking on twitter like what what are you know <laughs> the the measurements like what is your arm I, this, this, because of <laughs> people asking me that so many times, yeah. I don't even bother to measure it. You know, just just categorize it. Yeah, just they ask me, I don't know, man. <laughs> if you have a measurement, do it. Go ahead. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's as yeah. big as my thigh. Yeah. One arm. One arm. Yeah, oh, you did this, I, it's almost yeah. like somebody's a little. I mean, it's it's like, it's like a there. small <laughs> tennis ball. I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> So, like, in terms of uh, organizing the Mr. and Miss uh, Kenya. Kenya event, um, like, when people show up tomorrow, like, what are, what what goes on there? Why is it uh, important for people to, to come and support? Actually, um, right now, uh, just as, as I said, the Federation has really made a lot of 
strengths. Strengths, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> by having our own athletes competing in international competitions and performing pretty well. Uh, if maybe you allow me, we have Denis Otieno, Mesha Kocheng, Michael Otieno, uh, um, Rashid Issa. We have even have ladies, eh? uh, Farah Ismail, Shital. These are people who have competed in uh, international competitions and performed pretty well. I think that never used to happen uh, before. Uh, this is also a, a, a way of opening avenues for our athletes to go and uh, compare themselves, get that exposure out there with established athletes in the world so that when they come back here, they share the same experience with the upcoming uh, athletes so that at least we have what we call continuity for the sport, both at national and machinani level. Mm -hmm. Now, when we come to organizing the Mr. and Miss Kenya uh, bodybuilding that will be taking place tomorrow at the National Museums of Kenya, Louis Leakey Auditorium, from uh, 9 uh, a.m. we'll be having uh, prejudging. Right now, the registration and uh, weighing in is ongoing at the USN uh, offices. Um, main event will start at uh, 5 p.m to around 9 p.m. And as you can see here, we have uh, William Bonac, uh, USN uh, Ambassador, IFB Pro, fifth in Mr. Olympia. I think we are proud to say that um, we are the first federation in Africa to bring an Olympiad to come and cut and raise guest post uh, in our event. And that is a major milestone towards the building and development of bodybuilding in this country mm -hmm. and Africa at large. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is uh, get more feedback Thank on you. social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Harriet, uh, Harriet says, uh, the man in white is the man of my dreams. Right, then we have Irene. Occupied. Sorry. Occupied. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Irene who is also asking to ask Evelyn um, about like for women how, let me see how do you get to be as fit as you are well um, I must say it takes um, a reasonable amount of work because you have to work out I basically work out every day I check what I eat um, unfortunately I always feel like ladies have to check more on what they eat because uh, our bodies readily respond to food, mm. yeah. So I, I really need to check what I eat and uh, put a lot of effort in terms of. I weight train, by the way. I know most ladies think think ladies will get bigger when they weight train. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it's a whole big story. <laughs> Even men don't get that when they train. So so yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It, it is so hard to get big. I actually get smaller when I, when I'm I'm in season. When mm. I'm you know, I get smaller. So ideally, weight train, please. All of you should weight train to to try and get to that toned body you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And finally, uh, William, what are your comments to men who also want to get as buff as you are? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> um, yeah. So just train hard, train smart, you know, um, leave your ego at home, <laughs> yeah, because a lot of guys go into the gym to impress other people, you don't need to do that, you know, so, and uh, have the discipline, the same discipline you stand up to go to work, you know, is the same discipline you should do this, this bodybuilding, if you have no discipline, then you better find something else to do. Alright, yeah. okay, so in 30 seconds, how can you get tickets? 30 seconds. Uh, the tickets are online, and... Um, mm. VIP will be going for 1500 regular 750 uh, We ask uh, our fans and athletes to turn out in large numbers to come and support this sport because it's all about your health. And uh, finally, I would also love to thank our main sponsors, USN, for partnering, partnering with us and to see to it that uh, bodybuilding grows in this country and even beyond.
Thank you so much. So online on the on the KBBF page? Yes, online on the KBBF page. Right. Yeah. KBBF page. Yeah. KBBF page. Okay, so of course I would like to say thanks guys and thank, thank you for having us. Thank, thank you for holding us. Thank you as well. Uh, and I guess as as we wind up maybe you can do for us just one more time as we <laughs> yes. bring this a little bit up. Where's the camera? Oh, the close up. Push it. The close up. It's going to be on this camera right here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you.